people that were worried about this being too high class for y'all. Look, it's stuff on a table and a knife and tomatoes and people. Camera's coming your direction. Dun, dun, dun. And people, nothing fancy. That shit showed up. So just whatever we've got the stuff we carry on. What's, I mean, how many of us actually do that when we go somewhere? Do we actually look at it and go, okay, what can I use if something goes wrong? I mean, why don't we? And today, and the way everything is right now today, does it make sense to be two or three days away? You know, yeah. I, we were thinking about that the whole time we were on the trip. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is stupid. We're on the wrong side of Mississippi. When we go to Florida, we see fishy parents. I think about that. How we get over. If, uh, like that one thing. Over the way. I think I've got a list of places. If something happened here, I got this guy and I got this guy. We go find one of them and we need to have a spot. A spot. And that's the whole. I mean, oh, no, I'm just going to head straight from my spot. What if whatever happens, happens between you and the spot? Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, your bug out location is across the bridge that goes over to Mississippi, and, uh, well, that, when we were coming back, they, they shut down the entire uh, westbound lane of that bridge coming out of the back end of Tennessee. Really? Uh, if you could go into Tennessee. You couldn't leave Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, do you have a plan? I mean, that's a long time to have to wait for them to open it up and say, okay, y'all can go now. When you think about it, up north, though, takes you into not so great part of town. We'll go ahead and cross over there. Yeah. Do you know more than one route? Are you following Tom Tom? Has he been there before, really? Has he been there? <laughs> Dallas? Probably half a dozen or better. It's taking us at least three different ways to get there. Yeah, Tom Tom's a dummy. That Australian chick that tells me where to go all the time, she's, she's always here for us. <laughs> she definitely does know her way around Arkansas. Uh, take the next right. Okay, follow this around. And you come back within 100 yards of where you exit. <laughs> we went to Oklahoma City like that one time. They had redone it. And the interstate, I guess all the road used to be about 50 feet over that way. The machine kept saying, beer right and going. I'm like, I ain't beer. Or left, I guess. Tell them beer left. I'm like, your car coming from Phil. Like, no, we ain't not going to do that. <laughs> you do what you want to do, lady, but I don't know. I know that first time we tried to go up there to the dog here, it got us all kind of messed up in downtown Dallas. And I think that was when we decided that we didn't care about cobras anymore, we were just going to pay and use them. Well, it's like uh, we were talking about outside how, you know, the people are going to be stuck in one place and trying to get back to another place. Imagine be, something happens and you're down here. You've got to get through love to get home. If you started walking right now, you could maybe, you know, unless you walk all through the night, you could, well, you can make love. You can make love long. Really well, you're tough. Hard. Yeah. I mean, you have to step it yeah. off. So that's what from here to post 20, well, 20 miles? Yeah. All the time. yeah. I mean, it's not, it's it's not exactly flat either. Mm -hmm. so. Especially coming out of post, you got to go to Cap Rock. Yeah, yeah, you're looking for two days, and by then, mm -hmm. you not going to go through that town. Mm -hmm. And if you have to try to go around it, You've got to go around it through all them small communities that don't want anybody from love of going through there. The most of the thing about small communities, they don't care. If you're going through, to begin with, the first week, they're going to be okay. They're just walking through high. They're going to be all right. After that, though, people are going to get, I suspect, people are going to be going to I, I don't give them a week. Not because there will be some jack wagon the first, you know, two or three days that, no, I need that golf cart, it's working, you know, and try something, that'll be it, everybody does no, you gotta watch everybody, everybody's yeah. out here. I mean, they'll all go straight up 
uh, old school 1950s, everybody's out to get it stuff. One of the things I did not do that I absolutely always do is I take my Texas road atlas, you know, that one's about that thick, that big, got all the little dirt roads and everything on it. And I forgot it this time. But between here and home, I'm pretty iron and I don't know the road. But still, all it takes is one screwball thing, and then you think, all right, it's closer to the north, it's closer to the south, how do I don't get around this? And you don't know. getting hot up there? It's almost 90. Well, let's well, postpone this for fall. <laughs> oh wait, it is fall. <laughs> I don't know, when does fall start around right here anyway? So it was, the official start of fall was a week or two ago. Nine days ago. Yeah, nine days ago. So this is, uh, it's 90 degrees, the ninth day of fall. Makes all sense in the world. Yeah, you could be prepared for something, but can you ever be? What's the like goal? Like you said, something can happen between there and there. That's why, uh, if you go out there, Liz has the back of that vehicle, if you go out there and grab that little uh, southwestern pattern bag, there's three bottles of water, granola bars, a knife, fire starting kit. She has a get home bag in her vehicle. I have a get home bag in my vehicle. I have a get-home bag in my car. Do y'all have a get-home? Do y'all have a get-home bag on that bike? No. It's what a, is wrong? It's uh, in the left side of my trunk. It has to be a lifestyle. He's got one. Do you have shoes on that you can walk along with? No, he's got a bug out there. Huh? No. Me, yeah. I don't it's carry my, my bug out bag with me everywhere I go. I carry my bug out bag when I go to his house. Because it's going to take you three or four days to get on with his eyes. But like he had yeah. said, like, he's got a place to go between there. But what if that one place that he goes, he can't get there? If we have to end up staying in the woods somewhere. Yeah, exactly. But that's the, the get on bag is 24 hours. If you realize that you're further than you. <laughs> <laughs> Camera rolling too, they caught you getting cut off. I hurt the camera. Uh, the point you leave while I'm eating, that's the thing. Leave the hurt that camera. <laughs> it ain't affected it too bad, lens ain't broke yet. Uh, whenever I move it and it makes that beep sound, uh -huh. that's, that means it's recording. I guess I should, I'll bet. Beep. We'll cut that part out. <laughs> uh, we, uh, but she doesn't seem to understand that the beat means it's going. She, she quit pointing with pointer and now she's pointing with all man. And that's, uh, like when you're driving through a part of the world and you're not in a hurry, which wines would you always, it's going to take us six hours to get there. And you give yourself six hours and 15 minutes. You got distracted. Yeah, why apparently. not, if it's going to take you six hours to get there, why not leave nine hours before you got to be there? And then stop at every county seat between here and there. That's a little extreme. But the ones that's convenient, then get a county map. Why not have a county map of every county in your state? Or uh, and you need a doctor for disaster. But for road closures, for who knows what happened. They have a big wreck somewhere in back to the back. And I figure I'd have to get around. I mean, people buy, uh, spend like crazy amount of money on, uh, you know, books about crochet or wild edibles from Canada. Like, that's going to do me good. And, uh, or, you know, setting deadfalls for elephants, like we got elephants, you know, stuff like that, you know, but they won't throw down 797 for an atlas 
that has all the major roads in the country. This will fit your backpack. It's a little way. Yeah. But you can wear tear out the pages if you need for where you're going. Yeah. And uh, you know this. I forget what was this one. I don't remember what this was called. I think it was like four bucks or something. No, eight bucks. But it can rain on this. Yeah. And it doesn't wait. I mean, do you have a? I mean, yeah. You don't. Oh, I don't need a map. My uh, GPS gets right. me where I'm going. Yeah. When you get out of the car to go to the restroom and somebody rides by on a bicycle and goes, and you don't have your cell phone anymore, what do you do then? Even in modern well, no, I'm just saying, I mean, we're not talking in, talking right, right now. Right now, yeah. somebody steals your phone and you're in Houston, you don't know how to get out of Houston. Because yeah. your phone was the only one that knew how to read a map. Yeah. That's nuts. Well, the nuts that's part that's was being in Houston. <laughs> what are we doing in Houston? I did carries. I wanted to see what happened in Mahomes. $20 bill out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Not only did I lose the $20 bill, but I lost my arm. <laughs> Three compasses, I think. Compasses. Yeah. That new one's kind of tricky as hell. Compasses are overrated. Oh, so is the North Pole. Gotta learn how to talk direction with that one. It doesn't even sit on the top of the planet. It's just at the center of the spin. It's not even at the center of the spin, but like it moves or something on it. The back end is from the circle. The magnetic pole is not straight north. Right. Is everybody down there with the way? The north and south pole are actually headed toward each other right now. Right now, I think this is like five, the five or seven not degrees the off. I it depends on where you are. Well, for our area. Our area can be seven degrees off, but the north magnetic pole is down in Siberia somewhere right now. Really? I think. But yeah, I'm never really get the floor. It's kind of hard, but there's a big So you know that if you've got to come back three clicks, or five clicks, if it's five degrees off, to know where the actual north is when the compass, when you're following just the compass. Yeah, there's so much more to using a compass than just going, okay, we're going that way. You can, it can get you in the general direction. I mean, it's, you're not going to like walk around in a circle with it. But, you know, if you don't know every, all the tricks and stuff and don't know any landmarks or anything like that, you from here, you're going to miss Amarillo about a few miles. And Amarillo is a big place. She could climb another leg while I go. No, I mean, so you're like, okay, it's, we should have been there by now. Have you seen him run? Yeah, it's fine. You're back there, Mom. Oh, she was. I don't know what the normal bill is. Does she have a normal bill? Think you're already getting it. You're in Kansas, buddy. <laughs> okay. No, it would be Kansas already, wouldn't it? Two of them all from my mom. Just barely. Is he the first time? He did. Yeah, I think we should be able to go with him. You'd be real close to it. still quite a ways up from Boca for Amarillo. Yeah. 200 miles, yeah. We got Boston. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I had to ask before I turned it on. But. Oh, no, that's fine. But, yeah, we're right outside town. Yeah, water's going to be one of your biggest concerns down there. Yeah, I've got, I would say I'm originally from Fort Worth. Okay. So I'm used to having Right. All the water you need, you can do this deep, and you can have water. You can have water, yeah. Yeah, you know, but a place I've got, I've got a well on it, and I've been doing a lot of research on uh, solar. To convert my well over to solar. Yeah. So I'm not trying to have to handle it all out. So as long as I just got it updated to a new ladder and everything. So another thing, I mean, EMP, well, I can see it. But to me, that's kind of a little bit lower on my. Well, it is on mine too. Just, 
but I mean it's a good possibility. But the uh, Faraday gauge, Faraday gauge is a real simple metal box. Yeah, of course. To do a Faraday protection on a roof of a bank of solar panels is going to be kind of hard. But I think that at least a large percentage of the, of the, of the cells on a panel will survive. I feel. And I can't, I can't give good reasons for it. But still, that's still a great thing to have because <laughs> assuming anything but an EMP, you can pump water. You can pump water. Yeah. yeah. And the thing about it is, if you've got to pull your well, if you've got a windmill tower on top of it, you have a way to pull your well. I don't have a windmill tower on top of mine. You know how hard it is to put a water well with the a thing? <laughs> it is a chore. Yeah. What don't you pull doing the water well Come on, man. What? You're on your own this time. No. Oh, ooh, you, ooh. You, you can do it now, say, because you learn. So if you have to, yeah, you have to be able to do it man, now. There's just so much. We've got to do it again? I'm pouring out and get the truck out there. Exactly. Well, you try to figure something out, you're like, well, what if this And that's a problem. You can get yes. mired down and you've got to think because yeah. you think, well, what if, what if? Three-ton crane.